What's up, YouTube? Today is September 23rd. Current time is 2.07 p.m. And I am at the Sacramento River, right under the I Street Bridge. Um, yeah, hopefully I can have some luck today, guys. So the current uh, air temperature is, we'll say about 77 degrees. It's gonna get up to 80 degrees in like a couple hours. And then um, the current tide right now, it is rising and then next high tides at 338 and so i'm pretty much coming here at okay time probably gonna leave around 6 to 7 p.m so that'll give me a good four to five hours to fish so uh yeah guys let's get it stay tuned relax and enjoy the video let's go well guys on my ultralight setup i'm using uh, a whole night crawler with some garlic spray and on my big pole, I'm using um, a whole anchovy and one whole night crawler, no spray. So we'll just try the natural scent. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can catch one, guys. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Yeah, that's a snag. I think I already snapped off, guys. Nice. Good sign. There's no way I'm snagged again, right? Double snag? Oh my god. I was snagged the whole time. guys not the fish that I was going for but I'll take him I guess oh man well guys I didn't get to go I didn't get to show you guys the fish I was trying to revive him well, well, guys, I caught that bass. Largemouth bass, my bad. I didn't get to show you guys. I lost him. I didn't want to leave the, the hook in its mouth. At least I got the hook out, guys. Caught that fish at 326. I'm not going for a largemouth bass right now, but I'll take him. That's why you guys always need to bring pliers, man. I dropped my pliers. When I went kayaking recently, I definitely gotta buy a new pair, guys. Definitely, probably either tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go to Walmart and pick up me some new pliers, cause that was a pain getting the hook out of that guy. I was gonna like revive him, keep in the water for a bit, and then show you guys, but he just jumped out of my hand. My 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 finger was tired trying to get the hook out. All right, well, guys, I'm gonna switch to my smaller pole and just use two of my two more smaller poles. I'll take them though. Oh, I'm snagged. Something just snapped. My leader might have broke off. Yeah, I don't know, but there's a snag over there somewhere. Well, guys, uh. Yeah, stay tuned. 
I guess uh, hopefully I catch some more fish for you guys. Let's get it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I hooked him. Caught this fish at five, 5.42. Little pike man, guys, I'm about to throw him back out there. Let's get it, stay tuned. All right, guys, he's like, I'm gonna put him on my big pole. Cast him back out there. Hopefully I can catch a fat one. Let's get it boys, stay tuned. All right guys, since I caught that pike minnow, I'm probably gonna stay here for another hour and see if I can catch a big old striper on it. Let's go guys. Might have a chance to catch a keeper today. Just had a whole nother one on. This is like a lot of bait already. But uh I don't like care. I'm just gonna have a whole nother one. That could just be good how it is. But <clears throat> whatever. Increase my odds. I can't believe I caught that pike metal guys. Since I caught it, I guess I'll stay a little longer. I don't think I'll leave when the sun gets, when it starts getting, when it starts to get dark, I'll leave. Or right, I'm gonna check that, check on that metal in like 30 minutes. So we'll see. Finally caught one, man. That thing was messing with my bait for so long. Got, literally got so many bites on that ultralight setup. Definitely, they're probably mostly pike minnow too. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna catch one on a pike minnow, but man, caught my keeper or my biggest striper on a pike minnow. So if I can catch another one, man, that'll be nice. Nice little guy, caught him at, check the time. Exactly 6 p.m. Let's get it. I don't know if I'll, I might have just had a bite on that. Whatever, I'm gonna release him. I don't know if I'll, I might have just had a bite on that. Whatever, I'm gonna release him. All right, buddy, thanks for the fight. Yes, sir, dude. See you later. I might have just had a bite on my, uh, it sounded like something was either attacking my, uh, my bait or something. Oh, man. All right, well, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to check my pike man now. I have a feeling it's either gone or something has it right now in its mouth. Oh. All right, false alarm, guys. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna call it. For today, current time is 6.35. I'm gonna get back to my car before it gets dark because I don't got any headlights or anything on me. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the car for the recap of the day. So, stay tuned.
All right, guys, taking the pike minnow for the last time. And I was snagged. Alright guys, current time is 6.53. Um, I think I fished for about three to four hours. And I got here when the tide was uh, pretty much at its highest. Or it was like starting to, you know, go up. Um, got a couple bites here and there. I think my first fish was that largemouth bass that gut hooked. I, I gotta buy pliers, man. <sighs> man. Definitely, I mean, I got the hook out. I thought the fish was gonna die, but uh, surprisingly, it didn't. I, I did get the hook. I don't like leaving the hooks in the fish, but um, yeah, I couldn't get a clear uh, shot for you guys because uh, I, was, I was trying to like, he was he was alive. I was just trying to get him acclimated back to in the water. I guess if that makes sense. Or I was trying to get him uh, get oxygen oxygen in him again, just go, going uh doing this with his lip back and forth in the water and then i was going to show you guys but uh he he jumped out of my hands and uh lost him but um yeah after that i think i caught a little pike minnow it was a bunch of little bites today guys on my ultralight like a bunch i couldn't hook them that's how pike minnows are man they're hard to hook i swear even with my ultralight setup but um yeah and then i i threw the pike minnow on my big pole oh uh, i think i got one good bite and i'm i mean i didn't even know if it was a bite or not but um i wasn't even paying attention i was messing with the i think the bass i caught and just i don't know it was gone I, maybe i should have hooked it but it, it didn't like I, I don't know normally when the i guess strippers eat the pike minnow right they inhale it it was like little taps so it could have been the pike minnow just swimming away or i don't know but um i'd say it was an okay day guys caught like three or four fish not too bad um hopefully the sharper vision starts picking up guys let me know how you guys how you guys have been doing in the comments uh, yeah it's been pretty slow for me though guys uh, i don't know i don't know how to get the bites just got to keep going out there i guess right that's all you can do maybe try, maybe, maybe i'll try a new spot next week we'll see we'll just see how i feel but um yeah if you guys enjoyed the video or if you guys learned something new please like comment and subscribe i'm out peace